morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg McCloskey, and this is a look at the some of the major currency pairs as the New York session gets underway. While well, the New York session was greeted with a rise by 50 basis points by, from the ECB, they also announced that their transmission protection instrument will be activated. More details to follow at the end of the press conference from Lagarde, which will start at uh, 8 45 a.m. ET. So um, what has happened to the price of the euro? Well the euro euro initially today moved down tested the 100 hour moving average traders leaned against that level in hopes uh, of a move to the upside at least they could define risk and limit risk against that level hopefully through the ECB decision if they got the 50 basis point hike uh, which they did they're rewarded with a sharp move to the upside the move to the upside is now moved up to test the high price from yesterday and also the high price from on Tuesday as well and looks toward the 50% retracement at 1.02829 moving above that level would increase the bullish bias get the get the price above not only these highs but these highs as well uh, and uh, that is good news for the buyers in the euro versus US dollar risk now is this this area right here this area was a swing level defined by a swing low here swing lows here swing highs here swing highs here you get the idea swing lows 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 through here breaking below that level yesterday we did move up just a little bit above that level move back down and earlier in the session the price moved into that level and also moved lower so this area is key key for support stay above it's more bullish move below and there could be some disappointment on the back of the break to the upside but right now the buyers are looking more in control in that currency pair take a look at the sterling versus US dollar this currency pair um, as you can see bounced off of the 200 hour moving average and also the low price from Tuesday or near the low price from Tuesday uh, and moved higher helped by the ECB decision of course the price is now testing a swing area uh, defined by uh, different um, swing lows and swing highs all through here 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 um, up here over here over here over here uh, today the price moved a little bit above that in the early European late Asian session uh, but failed and, and uh, you can see the move to the downside that took the price down to our lows from Tuesday and also the low from the 200 hour moving average before moving higher get above this level would open the door again for the potential for further upside this swing area up here would be the next target also defined by the 50% retracement recall from Tuesday the price moved up to test that 50% retracement found willing sellers moved up to it again found willing sellers up to this this area right here is another key level so not only is this area key but this level over here is key and getting above it would be uh, bullish for the sterling versus US dollar finally let's take a look at the dollar versus yen uh, the Bank of Japan was another central bank that met today they kept their uh, interest rate uh, control program in effect uh, kept the pedal to the metal as far as uh, stimulus goes and that helped to push the US dollar to the upside we are seeing a rotation to the downside in reaction to the lower dollar as a result of the ECB decision and so on and so forth and that has pushed the uh, dollar yen back down but watch this 100 hour moving average here folks um, again the, EC, the the Bank of Japan is keeping their uh, floor on or, or the pedal to the metal for policy they're keeping their um, yield curve controls in place as well that should continue to keep the yen um, on the weak side relative to the US dollar so keep an eye on the 100 hour moving average there may be some support that would uh, take the price back to the upside and getting above this area right here this this extreme area would be the target uh, for the buyers if the buyers are to take and keep control in this pair if we move back below the 100 hour moving average all bets are off look for uh, the 200 hour moving average however uh, remember on Tuesday the price moved down tested 200 hour moving average did found support buyers against that level and waffled uh, below the 100 hour moving average until today's trading where we where the interest rate decision uh, caused the price to eventually move to the upside so there you have it my name is Greg Michalowski good fortune with your trading bye bye now